most people think that physics is an incredibly difficult subject, uh, and yet it's, it's so pervasive in our world. You experience physics uh, throughout your entire day. <laughs> I've been trying to do something with the community, especially the policing department, to bring uh, them and my students together. When I first met Mr. Farley, we spoke about a way to show the students that physics was more than in the area of academia. We, we want to bring our students more into application mode. An MCB investigator uh, is responsible for the investigation of uh, vehicle collisions in which uh, somebody has either uh, died or has suffered life-altering injuries. Physics is important in my job. We deal with the principles of the conservation of energy and conservation of momentum. It helps us to clearly understand what happened and to analyze different scenarios. I really like how it worked in um, this event actually because the police didn't like hold our hands as we did it. They kind of told us this is how you'd use the equipment and then they kind of let us experiment with it ourselves. We found the coefficient of friction using the friction sled and we also used uh, distance measuring tools. So you, you're going to do like three, ten poles? Well, I didn't really realize that police officers were so knowledgeable in physics, but through this experience I was able to learn that they were in fact knowledgeable. Working with police officers uh, showed me that they're humans just like us. They came up backstage with us, joked around, and were just really nice to all of us. The center of mass of the park. Bottom line is that nearly all of them will drive, or they'll be a pedestrian, and in either case, um, they both have responsibilities. It was great to see the class divide up just like a normal Hollywood production. The basic um, premise was that there was a bunch of students that were getting ready uh, for the prom and they all had a shot of alcohol and got into their vehicle and then uh, the video ended with the sound of screeching tires and the sound of a crash. What I learned was how serious this is and how many people it impacts, not just the people who are affected in the crash physically, but the, again, the next of kin, the family. And he unfortunately has died in a car accident from blunt force trauma. The purpose of that exercise was to show the students that there's a very real human element. We just have to give you our card. There's no way that the man I saw this morning is not here anymore. Even so though you know, know it's not real, like your real emotions go into creating a scene that can persuade others to believe that you truly did lose your brother, or you did lose your son, or you did lose your father, and it's an experience that I'll never forget. It was life-changing. Part of me would want to, you know, yell and scream at them, like, it's not their fault, they're just bringing the message. Like, they, they really don't want to tell you this, but they have to. The problem of fatal crashes is multidisciplinary in nature. Dr. Bill Lucas was brought into the program as the uh, coroner within Ontario. Jennifer Goulin was also brought in to represent the Crown Attorney's Office. It showed the team approach. We work together to solve problems. Uh, it's always been my hope that the program continues because this is beyond borders. And um, I think it would benefit every high school in the province. 